Hello. Special delivery package. Sign here, please. That's very good. That'll do it. Thank you. Yeah, so did I. It's a great evening. I'm opening a package. Christmas is early, I guess. What time should I come over? Yeah, you know it. Dr. Sanders, please. Jeff Ashton. Tell him it's urgent. May I help you, sir? My name is Jeff Ashton. Oh, yes, the doctor's expecting you. Mr. Ashton is here. He'll be right with you. Thank you. Come on in, Jeff. Hold all my calls, huh? Yes, sir. You didn't call the police, did you? Are you kidding? Of course not. What'd you do with it? I... I got rid of it. Well, what'd you want me to do? Donate it to a medical all school? All right, all right. Take it easy. It's just a... Uh, drink? Yes, yeah, Scotch. It's just that it's such a hell of a shock after all this time. God. Whose arm do you think it is, anyway? Who knows? Maybe one of the others. Mark or Bill. Who the hell knows? I knew it. I knew we hadn't heard the last of this. It's Ted, isn't it? Gotta be. Last thing he said to us was he'd never forget. I thought he was in some institution somewhere. He's out. He's out? I just called there. He's a raving maniac. That's right. Either he got better or he put on a damn good act. The important thing is, he's out. Jesus. Jesus, that miserable place. How the hell could I have enjoyed such a thing, crawling around some damn hole in the ground? It's going to come back at us, Jeff. Hard. After five nightmarish years. Jeff, are you sure you know where the hell we're going? Oh, Jeff. It's about two miles, right over that hill. Should we carry packs? No, if it's not any further than that, we can hike up there and come back with the packs. It's your cave, Jeff. What do you say? Let's take my pack. Leave the others here. Bring the Coleman's. You're the boss. What's Coleman's? Why don't you guys relax and I'll rig up the other. First ride.
Ready? Yeah. Give him a hand, guys. Okay, next. How's it look down there? Looks okay from here. Not very big, though. Come on down. Okay, I'll go next. Cave in over here. Ah, oh, that's old stuff. Probably happened years ago. What do you think? Is it safe? Well, I don't know. That's what makes it exciting. What do you say we split this cave and go to Vegas? This stuff is really rotten. Why don't you guys stop worrying and get some samples? We ought to be out of here in time to get back to the rover before dark. When's lunch? Fantastic. Well, this old mountain's blown her top a couple of times. I don't know. You've seen one cave, you've seen them all. Look at that. Look how this formation has pushed its way up oh, through there. Yeah. Hey, Herman, what the hell are you doing? Isn't that what we're down here for? Collecting rocks? You see what you did? It's an old cave. It's a cave in! Take it easy! It's blood! It's blood! I told you, God damn it! I told you! I told you. Stop it, man! Stop it, man! Come on, dude. You want to start another cave in? Help him! I can feel air. Coming through here. Let's open up above somewhere. It's solid. We'll never make it. Well, we gotta keep trying. Wait a minute. Wait. Easy, easy. No! <laughs> That's no good. We need to get it to the rover. Well, we don't have it, so let's keep at it, huh? All right. Come on. Fight. Let's think. Let's think. There's gotta be a way. They'll find us. Probably looking right now. This was a two-week trip, remember? Who's expecting us now? Oh, God, nobody. <coughs> we'll wait. Let's conserve every bit of energy we can. There's no food and damn little water. How many days now, Ray? Just seven. Just seven, he says. Mm. If I don't get anything to eat soon, there won't be anything left to rescue. I once wrote a short story about a group of sailors who were lost at sea for 60 days. Now are they kept alive? Fish. Nope. They ate the weakest member of the crew. 
Venezuela. Now we've come to cannibalism. We have to hold off until tomorrow. I can't eat meat on Friday. You'd make an exception this time, wouldn't you? Should have found us two weeks ago. We had it, and you know it. Ray, how much longer can we hold out? It's the last of the water. Maybe tomorrow. There's not one chance in hell. Anybody finding us by then? What if? What if the men on that raft had, had only eaten parts of each other? Could they have survived? Why? Think about it. I don't have to think about it. I know it's on your mind. You're crazy. Sorry. It's a way. Take apart from everyone in turn. You wouldn't like. I'd give you high cholesterol. <laughs> You're serious. You're goddamn serious. I'm trying to stay alive. You're talking about cannibalism. He's talking about survival. If anyone died, it would be pure murder. That's cop talk, Mark. What would you call it? Like Ray said, survival. I don't think I could eat human flesh. Christ, I, I know I couldn't. Hey. Hey, this whole thing is sick. Let's knock it off. So we just sit here and rot? Down uh, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not for it. Like, how would we decide? On who'd be first? We draw straws. It's crazy. Would you rather die? That's going too far. You know a better way? What part gets cut off the loser? That's up to the loser. <clears throat> now, wait a minute. You sound like this has already been decided. Who gave you... You've already been told that some of us, maybe all of us, can't make it through tomorrow. Is that true?
and the law get through with us we're gonna wish we all died what do you mean the law we only did it because we had to mark's right he'll crucify us your timing <laughs> you butcher it was your idea you came up with it why should we take the blame no one has to take any blame if we keep our heads stop killing yourself jeff we've had it all of us no we haven't now listen all we have to say is that ted's arm was crushed in the cave-in ray had to amputate to save his life <laughs> you think that Ted is, is going to go for that? <laughs> he 
doesn't matter. He's been delirious for over a week. Kept screaming that we'd cut off his arm for food. Now, nobody in the world's going to believe that. I don't know. People don't believe anything. There's no other choice. Maybe he's right. What have we got to lose? Nothing now. Rogers, we tried to save his arm, but uh, I ask you to wait. I begged you. I, I won't forget. All right, men. thought exploring a cave would end like that. Right now, I'm concerned about Ted Rogers. I wonder who he got to. Do you know where the others are? Bill and Mark still in town. We ought to get together and talk about this. What about Herman? Gwen. Could you see if you could find Madman Herman for me? He's at one of the Valley radio stations. Yeah. I'll find Herman. You get Mark and Bill. We'll meet at my place tonight. Eight o'clock, okay? Yeah. Man, you are late. What the hell is the matter with you, huh, Jeff? Hey, you get an arm in the mail. An arm! And you don't report it? You're damn right. Can you imagine the headlines? The hell with the headlines! I hear you just made detective. Right. What's gonna happen to your career if this mess is stirred up again? There doesn't have to be any publicity. Oh, come on, be realistic. Newspapers would be all over it. Some damn reporter tied in with what happened in the cave. Ted's family would be hounding us. It opened up the whole thing again. It was bad enough five years ago. I tell you about it. I think we better report it. 
That's what I'm trying to tell you. We go through legal... Look, hey, look, look. I got a split. I got a show to do. Okay, so we report. Can you guys stand the heat? What do you mean? Come on, Ray. You'll have patients staying away by the thousands. What about it, Herman? All those lily-white sponsors gonna line up to buy time on your radio show? No way. Bill? How many building contracts are you gonna get, huh? I'd never sell another line to a TV show. Everyone's satisfied? If the truth comes out, we're finished. So what do we do? Wait around for him to find us? Any one of us could be next. You sure know how to make a guy feel secure? He's probably just trying to throw a scare into us anyway. Yeah, he succeeded. Look, whoever lost his arm didn't just donate it. Uh, I feel sorry for him. He's the way he is because of us. But he means business. We've got to get to him first. What do we do when we find him? Have his family put him away? Why? With no publicity. Yeah, but how do we find him? Well, that's up to Mark. That's easy. He's sitting somewhere watching television and drinking beer with his one good hand, just waiting for the doorbell to ring. No, but his family should be able to help us. If they will. We ought to be as anxious as we are to keep this quiet. the door and the doorknob turned. Frightened me when you didn't come in. There's been no one upstairs. You must have been dreaming. No. I was wide awake reading. The psycho lover? What are you doing? If you skip the psycho part and get to the lover part, you won't hear any more noises. The guys will be going pretty soon. I'll be up. Okay? okay. Don't waste any time, Mark. I'll keep in touch. Everybody gone, dear? Yes, dear. I'll be right up. Quiet. Ray? Quiet. I'm just stay in this room. Come on out, Ted. I know it's you. I don't want to hurt you, Ted.
Is there anything we can do? Can you give him his arm back? Mark, who did it? We don't know. You have an idea, though. You men haven't seen each other for five years. And you want me to believe that you just got together for old time's sake? Our meeting again had nothing to do with this. The last time you men got together, another man lost his arm. Why didn't you tell that to the police? Ruth, I had myself assigned to the case. Believe me, I will do everything I can. Let's go, Jen. Mark, Jeff, just, just listen to me for a minute. Ted got to me. Here at the house. Yeah, I'm all right. Just a, just a bump on the head. Mark, we've got to find this guy. Well, damn it, if you know where he lives, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Four o'clock. tearing out of that door with an axe. Miss Rogers? Yes. I'm Sergeant Mark Richards. This is Jeff Ashton. Do you remember us? What do you want? We'd like to speak to your father. He isn't home right now. Could you tell us where he is? 
What do you want him for? Is he in some kind of trouble? That's what we'd like to find out, Miss Rogers. Do you know where he is? Look, uh, my mother's very ill. Could I talk to you somewhere else? Of course. Do you know the uh, Seaview Hotel? I know where it is. I'll meet you there in a half an hour in the lounge. Fine. What the hell are you doing? We practically have the guy and you walk away and leave him. We should have just gone in there. Haven't you ever heard of a search warrant? I don't have one. Besides, this isn't my jurisdiction. You think he was in the house? I doubt it. It's too obvious. He's got to know we're looking for him. Yeah, I guess so. Look, I've got to call in. So I'll park the car and meet you inside, okay? Fine. She's helping Ted get away. Looks like you're wrong, pal. Can I get you a drink? <clears throat> This is important. You know, my father's been in and out of hospitals for five years because of what you did to him. Listen, we did what we had to do to... Jeff. We did what we had to do to save your father's life. Now, you believe his story. Okay. If I were in your shoes, I'd probably do the same thing. So let's get right to the point. We've got to find him. Why? We think that he's the one who mutilated Dr. Sanders. We also think that he assaulted me this morning. Will you try and help us? I haven't seen my father in three weeks. But you must know where he is, or have some idea. Has he ever uh, talked about us to you? Of course. For a while, you were all he talked about. Then about two years ago, he seemed to be getting better. And he read something in the paper about Dr. Sanders, I think. And right after that, he started getting more and more depressed, talking about revenge. They took him back to the hospital. When he, he got home, he didn't mention you at all. He seemed almost normal. I really don't believe he did these things. And uh, you have no idea where he is now? You have a brother, don't you? Mm -hmm. Is he at home? No, he's back east. He moved out right after high school. Couldn't stand it at home. Well, uh, thanks for helping us. We better get moving. Yeah.
think she was telling us the truth? Who knows? We've just got to find some way to protect ourselves. Jeff. Look, he, he's obviously been stalking you. Uh, he, he sent you the arm, attacks you in your own home, he leaves a message for you on the mirror. He probably followed you to Ray's house. Christ, for all we know, he's been following us all day. So where does that leave us? We've got to get him into some situation that'll bring him out into the open. Yeah, well, that's not going to be easy. You're telling me. Oh, it's getting late. I better get out of here. I'll think about it. Maybe I can come up with some idea. In the meantime, keep your doors and your windows locked. Don't worry. Locked and bolted. Good. Yeah. Listen, you be careful, too, huh? I will. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. going on? Ted. You almost got me. You all right? Huh? I'm all right. I'm all right. Sure? You know, there's... There's one sure way to bring Ted out into the open. The girl. Use her as bait. Right. <laughs> Look, we'll go over there tomorrow, see if she'll go along with us. Could we talk to you for a few minutes? I thought we talked about everything yesterday. Teddy, your father tried to kill Mark last night. That's right. We would like to try to trap him so that we could capture him. Did you expect me to help you? Would you? Look, he's a very sick man. If we don't get to him first, he could be killed. I'm sorry. I can understand how you feel. If you'll come with us for a few minutes, I think I can change your mind. Don't count on it. It doesn't look so good. Even if he regains his health, I don't think he'll ever recover emotionally. Even under heavy sedation, he wakes up screaming. It's horrible. Ruth, Ruth, listen. He's a strong man. He'll be all right. He was a strong man. Now do you see what we mean? It's not new to me. I saw my father when he was in the hospital. Well, I'm sorry we bothered you, Miss Rogers. Wait. I'll help you. This is Madman Herman giving you a temporary mwah. Stay tuned for that sparkling anticlimax that follows called Charlie Regan. In the words of Camille, 
I'll be back in a half hour after my coughing break. It's all yours. Did you get my sandwich, Charlie? No, oh, I was running late. I didn't have time. Thanks, Sahib. Jesus, I've only got a half hour between shows. How do they expect me to go out, get something to eat, and be back in time? Don't eat. It's pretty obvious why no self-respecting DJ stays in this crummy station more than three months. You can leave at any time. No great loss. Don't lose too much of the audience. Harry, just the man I want to see. I'm in a hurry. I'm on the way to last office now. Man, do me a favor. Nope. You don't even know what I want. I don't care what you want. You ever do me a favor? Sure. Didn't I give you an autograph picture of me in the nude? That's all right, man. Keep sweeping. How long did you work here? Just coming to work? Funny. You know I'm on all night. I was going out to get a sandwich. Now my car won't start. Oh. Hey, take mine. Leave the keys at the switchboard. Thanks, man. I owe you one. <laughs> at least I won't starve to death before sign-off. I'll bet you that he is getting ready to make his next move. You're guessing. I don't think so. If that message on the mirror was right, he's on the top of the list. If I'm on the top of the list, why did he go after you? I don't know. I don't know. Opportunity, maybe. And maybe he figured he'd get me and then come right in here and get you. Two birds with one stone, huh? What we've got to do is get him to attack when we're ready. Teddy, what would your father do if he thought that you were spending the night with Jeff? The way he hates Jeff, he'd probably kill both of us. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. When I leave, you go around and 
Start turning off all the lights. Now, wait a minute. I'll circle back around and wait for him outside. Okay. Let's try it. you nymphomaniac. You know what nymphomaniacs are. That's people who have trouble sleeping around. Yeah, I know I shouldn't have said that on the air, but I you, Herman. Splendid. I'd like to make a request. Sir, if you are making an obscene phone call, who is it? Just an old friend requesting a song. Why don't you play I'll Be Seeing You? That dates both of us. Come on, now, come on. Who is this? A really long time to hate all of you. Do you? I don't know. I just want it to all be over with. Yeah. And now a piece of nostalgia from World War Dust. I don't want her, you can have her, she's too fat for me. From that Disney classic, Beauty and Obese. It's been quite a while, what do you think? I don't know. I just wish something would happen soon. This waiting's beginning to get to me. Ladies, it's that time again. Why don't you come by and get reupholstered at Mitchell's Upholstery, 35222 Ventura. Whether it's a sofa convertible or easy chair, Mitchell will put more spring in your zings. A zing in your spring. And now, another record done by that new swinging group, The Hormones. We'll give it a shot. Oh, look what we have here. Coffee makes you nervous.
V Heavy, this far out instrumental group recently gave a concert and almost got arrested for taking out their instruments in public. What do you mean this show is in bad taste? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> It's you, isn't it? Uh, hi, man. <laughs> Ted, remember I was the only one who didn't go along with what they did. You remember that? Operator? Yes? Uh, hello, yeah, I... Can I help you? Uh, I've been receiving some threatening phone calls here. How many? A uh, two in the last few minutes. Well, we have to hear it. I'll try to keep them on. What's your number? Um, my number here is 461-3771. Well, when he calls again, contact us at once. Thanks, I I'd appreciate it. Hold up. No, I'm a police officer. Oh, thank God. Mister, you don't know how close you came to getting it. Now, please, you get out of here before you get hurt. Oh, yes, always willing to co co cooperate with the police. Rogers. How are you, Herman? Thought I didn't recognize you, eh? You were the one who cut off Ray's arm. You know, Dr. Ray Sanders. I want to help you, Ted. I'm your friend. I wouldn't talk to the police, you know. You know me. Good old Madman Herman. KLIG Radio. Situated at 3030 Chapel Road. No, Ted. Don't hang up. This is Madman Herman. Just chewing on a nitroglycerin tablet. Mmm, good. Hello. Sir, this is the operator. What is your address there? Where are you? 3030 Chapel Road. Uh, KLIG Radio, what? Sir, the call. The ones you asked us to trace? Well, they're coming from your other line. Whoever it is is in the building with you. This is Madman Herb. This is your old madman. Someone's in the studio.
get that. Oh, Jeff, it's me. It's me. My God, I thought you were Ted. I know. Herman's dead. Herman? I just got it on the car radio. He was at the station. He was on the air. Was it? Just like Ray. Who are you calling? Police. It's too late, Jeff. We've been withholding evidence. I'd be suspended. We'd both be put in jail. Tomorrow, we'll get Bill. And the three of us will stick together until, until we find Ted. Yeah, well, that's the only thing we can do. Where could we find Bill Hale? Well, uh, let's see. He came by here just a little while ago. He's probably over to the mill. That's that big shed right around the corner. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's okay now. Run a couple of boards just to make sure. Hey, Bill. We gotta talk to you for a minute. Go help uh, Charlie unload the truck. We'll finish tomorrow. You heard about Herman? You would have to be deaf, dumb, and blind not to hear about it. Oh, the news media's having a ball with it. Uh, Ted made damn fools of us. We thought for sure I was next. Now it could be any one of us. You think I don't know that? You know he's not going to stop. That's why I'm carrying one of these. Bill, listen. We've all got to stay together now. You see, the way I figure it, that way he can't isolate wait, just... Wait a minute. You two stick together. I can take care of myself. You mean you're not going to work with us? It's working with you guys. They got me in this whole mess. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, you get yourself one of these. And every man does his own number. Hello. Yeah, this is Bill Hale. Fire. At the yard? Yeah, I'll be right there. Who is this? gets a little excited. Come on, Sebastian. In. In. That's a good boy. Uh, 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 not yet. This isn't the lobby. <laughs> Come back, Sebastian. That's right. I, I know I look a mess, but I have to go out and get a TV guide. I, I've been looking for this program all week, and I can't find it. All right, Sebastian. Come on. Come on. Now you hold it until we get outside.
Daddy. Listen, Daddy just called. He's on his way after Bill. Try and reach Mark. I'm on the way over there. Okay. on the phone about Bill. It couldn't have been more than 15 minutes after I talked to Jeff. Who did he pick to be next, or didn't he tell you that? No. Well, what did he say? He did talk, didn't he? Please, Jeff. Do you have any idea where he is? Any at all? You promise me you won't hurt him. He's already killed two men! He's mutilated a third! Now, what the hell do you want, lady? He wants to meet me. Where? At uh, Trankis Cliff on the beach. I don't think my father's going to fall for this. He said come alone. I think you're wrong. When he sees you with me, he'll have to do something. Maybe he won't show up. There's someone following us right now. It's probably Mark. Nope. He's already at the beach.
What is it? away from here. Yes. Where are we going? Oh, my brother has a has a cabin in the mountains. We'll be safe there. Ted will find us. No, no, he never knew about it. Daddy, I, I don't know how to thank you for helping me like this. Jeff, don't move. There's someone I want you to meet. Ted? Ted! No, wait! Wait! Ah! Roger, you were beautiful. Daddy will be so proud of his son. Oh. Here, let me help you. Sis, help me get him into the house. Okay. Good morning. Would you like some coffee? No, thanks, sis. It sure is nice having the family together again. It's too bad Mother couldn't be here. <sighs> yeah. She never really understood us. No, only Daddy did. He's a wonderful father. I'm glad we could do this for him. It's just like Christmas, isn't it? Wow, what a nice surprise. Let's do it now. Hey. Good morning, Daddy. We have a wonderful surprise for you. We're going to make you well again, Daddy. When you see what we've got for you, you're going to come back to us. Come on. Help me, Roger. Come on, Daddy.
morning, Mr. Ashton. Did you have a nice sleep? Where am I? What are you doing, Evie? Nothing. We're not going to do anything to you. Ted? Ted, please! I know you're behind this. Please! Just get it over with! Please! I can't take it anymore! Please, Ted! No. No, not Ted. My daddy never hurt anybody in his whole life. He never has. He never could. But I did. All of you. For him. Where is he? Ted? Are you here? Listen to me! Listen! Shh. No need to shout. Daddy's right here. You've killed three men. And Ted will never even know it. He'll never even know it. Oh, yes, he will. He will just as soon as he sees what we're doing. But you said you weren't going to hurt me. I said we wouldn't do anything to you and we're not. You're going to do it. Just like you did to Daddy. And this time, it'll be your idea again. Cut off my own arm? Either that or starve. When you get hungry enough, you'll do it. You're insane. Insane! You know, you have to do it. It's the only way you'll live. I have a little present for you. You see that wall over there? You see that little door? Open it. There you go. No. No. 